It's cold out here today. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Reggie Jamerson with Ashley Lambert Realty. Giving you guys information for real estate in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and surrounding areas. On a really cold day like today, I think it'd be a good time to do a conversation about um, me as a real estate agent and really kind of give you guys a little bit of a background as to what exactly I do in the grand scheme of things with Ashley Lambert Realty. Um, I'm much more of a um, administrative behind the scenes doing a lot of different things kind of a, an agent right now um, mainly because I'm a part-time agent what that means is that I have a primary job and I have real estate that I also do where I, I usually focus on one client at a time okay um, I've had two clients at a time before but where I like to stay is one client at a time so that I can give them the best service that I can possibly give them and you know all of my clients for the last five years have been very happy so it's been very good Real estate's been really good for, for us in general, for Ashley Lambert Realty. But one of the things I wanted to talk about is people don't usually talk about being a part-time agent, um, working with a part-time agent, some of the pros and cons of that, what to look out for if you're working with a part-time agent. Now, um, I'm really good at my time management. I'm really good at uh, being able to um, be diligent and also effective with my time. That's very important. So, well, for example, my clients, we've been looking for um, a, a, a several months right and the reason why was because when they first started looking for a home um, they were under the impression that for the amount of money they wanted to spend they were going to be able to find that and, and and be exactly happy with what they had but the reality was is when the market when COVID hit the market it just completely uh, flipped everything upside down and home prices in Charlotte did not go down they in fact went up so in doing so, well, with my research, because I'm, I'm usually big on analytics and looking at different market trends and things like that, um, we were we were looking for these things that they wanted, which were, you know, an acre of land and wanting to build and have a, a, a top a, a top in house, but do it for four fifty. And in all honesty, that doesn't really exist anymore to have um, an acre or two of land and to be able to build. You know a 3,000 square foot house with top-end finishes and top-end designs all brick you know that's very hard to do in 450 um, for for hire you know maybe if you were your own builder you could probably do it yourself but for hire it's really hard guys so we ended up going the route of buying a new home you say? we we ended up uh, reevaluating that as a, as a group right and what my clients ended up doing my clients ended up getting a new construction home with Pulte yesterday I posted a video of that lot the basement lot that they have so um, we actually it's funny we started off our journey looking at Pulte as far as um, trying to find that particular type of house so we that was the first neighborhood I took them to based upon what they said they wanted and you know through the process of searching sometimes you just you get get back to realization that you know what you want is actually there you just got to see it right and sometimes um, I think HGTV or just other other people telling you things that aren't true will, will throw off that whole actual um, thing of what you can have right now I'm going to my old house to uh, check on it because we moved and you always got to check on your old house to make sure things are going good that things aren't messed up it's always weird going into your your former house and looking at places where you made so many memories but like now it's empty now it's all gone now it's not there anymore it's a little weird it's a little weird um, my wife was having moments where she was looking at places where the kids had their first steps and things like that and you know she she felt really emotional about it but um, you know sometimes you just gotta you gotta move forward and you can't um, dwell in the past because that's not how you grow and you know the mission should just be to grow but life lesson aside let's talk about being a part-time real estate agent um, does being a part-time real estate agent mean I am a bad real estate agent? No. It doesn't mean anybody in particularly is a bad um, 
in particular, I don't think in particular is a word. In particular, is a bad real estate agent if they're part time. What that really means is that they're not gonna have tons of clients. They're gonna have uh, one client here, maybe two clients there, right? And that's pretty much about it. Now, I can only speak for myself. I like to keep it at one because I like to make, make sure the quality of service is there, right? I wanna make sure if you have questions, you can call me. I've dealt, I've, I've had clients that were literally living on the other side of the world and I worked with them to sell their house, you know, and it, it, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world to, you know, talk to people at three o'clock in the morning or, or whatever. But, you know, you, you if you, if you set your time up, if you have your stuff together, you can make it happen, you can make it work. And everybody was happy at the end of the day with the results because they sold the house for what they wanted to sell it for and the people who bought it got a great house. So that was the win-win there. But one thing that helps me out is that my wife is a full, full-time real estate agent. So she is consistently out there working. She's consistently out there um, doing things. So. I'm, I'm really kind of like learning from her and I would say I've been learning from her since we first started dating and she started doing real estate in North Carolina in Charlotte right and that's been over um, a long time and with with the things with what she tells me and she's such a good uh, person to, to get to learn from because she's seen just about everything um, not even just the, the structural stuff but we, we, we sometimes we sit down and we go over like the real estate law and things like that because you know I'm fresh out the class and I know all the new laws so I make sure I tell her these things that I pick up uh, that are interesting in certain situations that we may come across as a team so although I am not practicing full-time I am hearing about the the firm's um, clients and understanding the situations and sometimes I am helping out and of uh, getting certain things resolved and things like that. Another thing I want to point out here with being a uh, real estate agent that's part-time is that I've seen bad situations where people are selecting people who maybe they work with and you know if somebody you work with is a lazy person don't you may not want them to be your real estate agent you, you probably want somebody who's going to be who, who at least at your other job shows you effort, shows you that they're well put together. They, they, they take care of all of the things that they need to take care of, right? A lot of times, um, people just go with friends. Now, you can you can have a full-time agent who's lazy, and you can have a part-time agent that's lazy. On the flip side, you can have a full-time agent who's extremely diligent, who's extremely dedicated, like my wife. Um, or you can have a, a part-time agent like myself who's extremely dedicated, and I know my, I know my limits. I'm not gonna over um, reach myself. So that's the things that I like to talk about when people ask about uh, being a part-time real estate agent versus being a full-time real estate agent. Guys, you know, something as simple as just showing action, just showing that you're actually doing something. You know, I'm gonna be showing you guys this going forward. Um, I haven't done so much of that in the past, but you know, with everything else going on in the world, you know, we we. We as a team, we decided, you know, it's time to go ahead and just start putting more of that information out there so that people can actually see it and can have a good um, understanding as to what's going on in the world when it comes to being a good real estate agent and providing a great service for your clients. And that's really what it comes back to is providing a great service for your clients where they can actually appreciate uh, the things that you do and say, you know what, I, I recommend Reggie, I recommend Ashley, I recommend Ashley Lambert Realty to you know whoever that is now we've got a lot of return clients guys we've we do deals with people and we've done deals with them numerous times you know two or three times things like that so that's that's going to show you like you know it's all about um, being professional and, and, and doing what you're supposed to do um, if you're starting out in real estate and you don't have any experience and you're trying to figure out what is the best time for me should I go full bore real estate or should I go part-time real estate so this question here is what should you do if you just got your real estate li license should you be a full-time real estate agent or should you be a part-time real estate agent okay now everybody's their own case because it's really about how well do you work without having anything given to you and I can't speak on other companies as far as what they want you to do or what they give you to do or what kind of leads they may give you things like that I always say the best leads are your leads 
the leads that you actually get because they're, they're, they're there to trust you already. So you're, you know, you got to work for that, work it up. Um, for me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed the way I did it. I got my real estate license because my wife was pregnant back in 2014, 15. And we needed, she, she needed to, to show houses and she couldn't, she got to a point where she just physically couldn't show houses. So knowing that was getting to that point, we just went ahead and proactively, I got my license. I got, I took the test, I passed it and you know, you know, now the team is the team, but you know, that passing that class did not make me, um, did not help me become a good real estate agent. It just made me a knowledgeable law abiding real estate agent. What made me become a good real estate agent is actually just doing work and working with people and just, you know, trying my best to make sure that I'm taking care of everything. So yeah, in class, they'll tell you one thing, but in the real world, you realize that there's people who do other things. And then you have the situation where you have new homes too. That's a whole nother thing that doesn't go abide by the uh, the same contract that you go over in your class. So I would say it's probably good if you're gonna be a real estate agent to um, start off with somebody who can, who can mentor you. Hi, I'm Reggie and welcome to my real estate YouTube channel. I'm a North Carolina realtor with Ashley Lambert Realty servicing the Charlotte Metro area. On my channel, I post videos explaining the home buying and selling process. I also have some tips and tricks for real estate, DIY projects, and of course, home video walkthroughs. Make sure you subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. I look forward to hearing from you.